What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out the channel and today I am pretty pumped because we're going to be opening up this Magician's Force OCG box. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar, Magician's Force is actually one of the hardest sets to find in English um, and I'm not sure how easy it is to find in OCG. I think it may have been reprinted relatively recently. I remember reading something about that so entirely possible that it's a lot more common there than it is here. However, there is a Dark Magician Girl in this set, Secret Rare, that is worth a pretty solid amount. Now, the collector's market for Korean and Japanese cards are not as much necessarily as the English cards, at least here, but I thought it'd be really fun to take a trip down memory lane, crack open a box of Magician's Force, which, because I just, I don't have the, uh, what, 8 to 10k it would cost just to get one here. I don't even know if that price is... is fully valid but they're extremely hard to find and uh everyone's gonna pretty much recognize what's in here because it's magician's horse most of these cards are kind of iconic so there is a dark magician girl which is here there's also dark paladin which you can pull I'll put a picture of it there um but we're looking for breaker the magical warrior uh so many iconic cards from magician's force that would just be really fun to pull obviously dark magician girl though i will be super pumped for so if you guys have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be trying to post videos on a routine schedule, whether it's openings or discussion videos or both. I'm not really sure. But without further ado, let's jump into this Magician's Force booster box opening. All right, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Now, I have actually never purchased OCG boxes before, uh, and I've gotten more than one that have that have come in that we're going to be doing for the channel. Probably split, spread out a little bit because it is a really fun kind of different approach to a lot of what you see on YouTube already. Uh, everyone's opening boxes of the newest set, and uh, yeah. So I actually can't figure out how this, this whole thing goes. But for those of you curious, sometimes the OCG boxes do not come sealed. This one did, which I'm actually hopeful means there's not going to be any chance of uh, scaling. Or not scaling, jeez. Uh, like, you know, scamming or something. Like, people are resealing packs. So we have 40 packs here. And they are relatively small because they are OCG. So, you know, we're hopefully able to get through these without too much trouble. Um... But let's go ahead and jump in. Like I said, if you guys have not already, please hit that like button and subscribe. It really is appreciated, and uh, it'll help to grow the channel. So thank you in advance for that. Now, I do not know where these open. These are going to be a bit tricky, it looks like. I guess we'll open them from the bottom and hope for the best. I can't read Korean, so whether or not the ratios on these are great, I don't know. Let me know which other openings you guys would like to see as far as these types of boxes go. This is still kind of crazy just to see that 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 Magician's Force. So Spell Absorbing Life. Uh, what is this? Uh, adhesive Trap Hole. Is that the one? Second Goblin, I think, is that. And then uh, Rare is Combination Attack. No idea what the ratios are, like I said. So whether or not we're going to pull, you know, five Ultras or three, I, I couldn't tell you. This feels like it should have a, a tab on the top or something that you can pull, but I genuinely don't think it does, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's fine. We'll just go from the bottom. Obviously, I'm going to probably try to speed this up a little. Wave Motion Cannon. Uh, it is of note, this is not a first edition box, unfortunately. So just in case anyone was curious, I was not able to get that. Giant Orc and a Great Phantom Thief, but it does look like they are OG. Like, they're definitely, um, they're definitely printed or, like... A while ago. They didn't they don't use the updated style of card. Oh gosh, this is not going as hot as I'd like. So it's five cards per pack. That's how the OCG packs are structured. Kashido Spirit, Disarmament, Rivalry of Warlords. It's a good card. Zombie Tiger and Anti. Not bad. Obviously, Dark Magician Girl, I would go completely wild. Oh, that seemed to work a little bit better than I thought. Let's see. Metal Silver Armor. I think that's people running about. Physical double, decayed commander, and another combination attack. So 40 cards per... Um, no, I had it for a second, and then somehow I... I guess it was just on that one that I was able to do it. Okay, well, I don't want to fuck anything up. And definitely let me know in the comments like down below what you guys want to see opened. Um, they're tricky. I might just see if I have like, scissors next time. Uh, as far as English or uh, foreign packs, because I'm going to try and mix in some cool openings. Rare Gold Armor, Great Agnes, Secret Barrel, Kiryu, and another Great Phantom Thief. So, so far, no foils. I think an English box would have 
and back in the day with with these sets would have either one or two ultras and then somewhere between three to four supers and i don't know if that would be impacted by whether or not you pulled a secret so obviously if we get a dark magician girl you know that might change things goodness these are really tough to open they they definitely use better quality for the pack. So watch, this one's all fucked, so hopefully that's not the one that has something. Poison of the Old Man, People Running About, Pineapple Blast, Pitch Dark Dragon, and Helping Robo for Combat. This is actually causing me to have to try real hard to remember the names of a lot of this shit. Alright, so sometimes it just comes right off. It's fucking trolly. Uh, uh, what is that, Autonomous Action Unit? Uh, Pigeon Holding Books of Spell, Meteor Rain, Freezing Beast, and DD. I think it's DD Crazy Beast or DD Trainer. I don't remember. I uh, have never opened a Magician's Force box. So. Although I do remember being like a kid back in the day and seeing the boxes, or uh, the uh, blisters at like Walmart. And who would have known it would have become what it is? Kaiser Coliseum, I think that's still banned. My Body is a Shield, pretty good card. Thunder Ruler, Burning Beast, and Dark Blade. Nice, he's a rare in this uh, in the set. He's getting a little bit of love versus the English version where he was just a common. Good to see Dark Blade get a little bit of attention here. I think. Or now I'm questioning whether or not he might have been a rare. I don't know. Someone in the comments tell me if he, if he was a rare. We got Demotion, Jar Robber, Unity, Des Dendal, and a rare. Is that Amazonus? Amazonus Ambush, maybe? Not sure. No foils yet, though. Watch it sealed, but it's still going to be an error box. Wouldn't be the first time for us on Love Shack. All right, we've got uh, Union Base. Emblem of Dragon Destroyer, v Vampiric Orchid. I am really having trouble with English today. And Megaton Magical Cannon. It's like remove 10 spell counters from the field, destroy all um, cards your opponent controls, I think. Not bad. White Dragon Ritual, Spell Absorbing Life, Adhesive Trap Hole, Coach Goblin, and Big Bang Shot. That's another cool card. I think with more recent sets in the OCG, they... Like, the rarities are different, because in English, Konami is, like, super greedy and wants to, like, change it, make it harder for us to get the chase cards, but I'm fairly certain with the OCG, we, we kept the same rarities back in the day. Old Vindictive Magician and Jaw Robber, so there were no rares in that. I guess I guess you can get packs with no no rares at all. Maybe that means you can get packs with, like, two foils. No, I don't think so. I think it's just five commons, and you're not guaranteed anything. Wave Motion Can and Anti-Spell, Formation Union, Giant Orc, and Continuous Destruction Punch. We've got, like, references up here for me to go ahead and remember the names here as we get about maybe a quarter of the way into the box. Hidden Books of Spell, Des Dendal, Kashido Spirit, Amazon is Blowpiper, and Emblem of Dragon's Destroyer. Buster Blader is just such an awesome, awesome card, and I'm glad it has its own archetype now. Kashido Spirit, Disarmament, Rivalry of Warlords, Zombie Tiger, and a Megaton Magical Cannon, so we are back to rares. I would think, and I am completely completely spitballing on this, but I would think we're going to at least get some foil. Metal Silver Armor, People Running About, Physical Double, Decayed Commander, and another Big Bang Shot. Tribe Infecting Virus is in here as well, I think. Anti, Second Goblin, Metal Silver Armor again, Amazon is Paladin, and a Disarmament. At this point, I'm just hopeful we get a super at all. We are obviously chasing that Dark Magician girl, though. So let's see. Rare Gold Armor, Great Angus, Secret Barrel, Kiryu, and another Continuous Destruction Punch. We'll spread these out a bit. I think we got about halfway through. Halfway through in about seven minutes. Not the not the worst I've ever seen. Alrighty, this one, Dark Cat with White Tail, and of course the Almighty Sonic Duck. I went through that kind of super fast, but just trying not to make the video too, too long. All right, we've got Poison of the Old Man, Oppressed People, Pineapple Blast, Pitch Dark Dragon, and Cat's Ear Tribe. I thought this was Invasion of Chaos, but probably not, seeing as it's in here. That's another set people mentioned I, I think would be really fun, for sure. It's Chaos Emperor. Uh, Formation Union, Zombie Tiger, Poison of the Old Man, Ultimate Obedient Fiend, and Aitsu. Even in, uh, even in another language, he's still terrible. <sighs> Come on, now. I started getting a routine down with these, and then... Working the arm out pretty good. All right, autonomous action unit, spell holding, uh, spell book pigeon holding, media rain, freezing beast, and a Dez koala, or death koala, I guess would be his OCG name, right? No foils though. I'm expecting one to two, so we'll see what happens. Rivalry of warlords, decayed commander, 
Autonomous Action Unit, Aitsu and Great Angus. Or, no, no, this is Koitsu. My bad. Don't mean to disrespect the icon. God. I know the one pack I, I fuck up when I'm trying to open it is going to be the one that actually has a good foil in it, so trying to be extra careful. All right, Physical Double, Kiryu, Kaiser Coliseum, Magical Merchant, and Pressed People. I know I've probably missed, I've probably messed those up a time. There's three of them in the set. They're all normal monsters, and they all fucking do the same nonsense, so. Anti-Spell, Jar Robber, Magical Marionette, Rare Gold Armor, and a Super Rare XZ Tank Cannon. Nice. All right. The one thing I will say about these cards in general, like, that artwork is gorgeous. And and it just, the super rare styling on the OCG cards, obviously I'm not really buying this to profit, right? I just thought it'd be fun to open and collect. So I'm really, uh, I'm happy about that. I would have liked Breaker, but so far we're okay. Let's uh, see how the rest of this goes. So one foil so far, XZ Tank Cannon. One more time if you guys didn't get a chance to look at it. It looks really nice. The, the old style of foiling, I mean, it's unmatched. They, they've they definitely decreased in quality today, regardless of TCG or OCG. Pineapple Blast, Pitch Dark Dragon, Demotion, Magical Mandragora. That's the third one. I don't know, People in Ruin or something? I, I couldn't tell you. All right. Dark Paladin, Dark Magician Girl, Union Attack, Emblem of Dragon Destroyer, Vindictive Magician, Poison of the Old Man. There we go, another super rare. Skilled Dark Magician. I will say, I again, just, just to reiterate that point, because I think it's important. They look really, really nice. Like, they hold up well. If you're just someone, you know, if you're not looking for massive value. Now, for the Ultras, I think, I think there's four. So I think it's Dark Paladin... Breaker, XYZ Dragon Cannon, and one other one. I don't remember. Thunder Ruler, Freezing Beast, Frontline Base, Pixie Witch, and people running about. So, obviously, Dark Paladin would be an insane ultra. I, I like. I really like Breaker, too. Both of them would make nice additions to the collection. I don't think we're going to get two ultras, though. Rivalry of Warlords, Spell Absorbing Tower, Blow Piper, Amazonist Action Unit, another super rare. We are rolling on supers now. Spell Shield Type 8. Mint condition right there. I don't think it's worth grading a lot of these. It's not like English MFC. However, if you did get Dark Magician Girl, I've seen that the PSA 10, even if the OCG one does go pretty high. Physical Double, Anti-Spell, Amazon is Fighter, Kaiser Coliseum, and Z-Metal Tank. We are rolling on supers. Back to back to back. I think Tribe Infecting Virus is cool. They look... Oh, I like them a lot. Nice, nice. All right. So, so far, four super rares. We've got a small handful of packs left, hopefully to wrap this up. And uh, like I said, I got some other really cool OCG products coming too. So, Remove Brainwashing, Burning Beast, White Dragon's Ritual, Magical Marionette, and My Body is a Shield. Still a decent card to this day. I don't think it sees a lot of play anymore, but certainly it could. Yes, random decks. Royal Magical Library. Still avoids the ban list somehow. Rare Gold Armor. Des uh, Vampire Orchid. Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't think of. Wow, though. Look at the artwork and the, the way the foiling looks on these. That is just... It's so, so much better than what we get nowadays on new products. For, if nothing else, gotta appreciate how good that art looks. Now, I don't know if that's the only Ultra we can, we can get, so that may have hurt our chances of Paladin, but I'm not gonna complain about it. It's pretty freaking cool. And obviously, we're gonna try and chase down Dark Magician Girls still, so let's see. Uh, Anti-Spell, Des Dendal, Wave Motion Cannon, Old Vindictive Magician, Jar Robber. Yeah, I got the ring lights, so you'll see a bit of a glare on those, but I'll show you guys the, the all the cards. Uh, you know, we'll do a quick recap. Magical Scientist, he's banned too. Poison of the Old Man, Second Goblin, Union Attack, and Ultimate Paladin of White Dragon. So, it's not what I wanted, obviously. Dark Paladin would have been freaking sweet, but it looks like this is what we're getting. Unless we get a third Ultra, which I don't think is going to happen. Um, beautiful, beautiful card, though. I mean, I can't say enough about how much I really, really like all the art and, and just the presentation of these cards. If you look at, like, Supers from a new set, like someone that just came out, I mean, I'll, I'll pull one up real quick here. If you even look at, like, the Speed Duel Super Rares, uh, I got a Surfish from Speed Duel, and you just look at the difference in quality. Like, it may seem subtle, but they, they put so much more 
detail and quality into it in the OCG side of things, I think. And I, I wish that we did it here just a bit more as someone who's a huge fan of a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh! artwork. And honestly, it makes stuff a lot more fun to collect if you're just, you know, big fans of the art. So let's see Hidden Spellbooks, Vampire Orchid, Kushido Spirit, Amazon is Blowpiper, and Emblem of Dragon Destroyer. We now have five packs left. Can we defy all the odds and uh, and somehow get that Dark Magician girl? I don't know. If not, maybe we'll have to try again in the future. Okay. Adhesive Trap Hole, Roulette Barrel, Kaiser Coliseum, Blow Piper, and Spell Absorbing Life. Let's try the next one. Here we go. Formation Union, Dimension Jar, Frontline Base, Amazon is Fighter, and Anti-Spell. Okay, three left. Dark Magician Girl, are you here? Let's see if we can do it. This Magician's Force Unlimited box opening, it is OCG, but... Let's see. We've got Pineapple Blaster, Union Rider, Mass Driver... Nope. Nope. Unfortunately, guys, I do think we've tapped out on the, uh, on the foils... I think six is going to be the max, but let's see. Maybe strange things could happen. Thunder Ruler, Freezing Beast, Gather Your Mind, Pixie Witch, and people running about. All right, last pack of this Magician's Force Booster Box opening. 40 packs. We got two Ultras and four Super Airs. And can we finish with a Secret Rare? Let's see. Remove Brainwashing, Burning Beast, Amazon is Spellcasting, Magical Marionette, and no. Okay. So My Body is a Shield is the final one. That's okay, though. I kind of figured as much. Um, so we got we got six foils, which is about what you expect. Six out of 40 packs isn't terrible for the older sets like that. Four supers. I would have liked the Tribe and Technic Virus, but, you know, you can't be too picky. Uh, I really like the Skill Dark Magician, too. And then our two Ultras, Paladin and White Dragon and Chaos Command Magician. Neither one is going to be anything game-breaking in terms of value, even being foreign, but I'm pretty happy with it overall. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the box opening, I had a lot of fun doing it. Like I said, there's going to be some more OCG products coming up on there. Uh, sooner rather than later, I think. I'm just trying to split it up a bit so that we're not just doing back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back openings. But I'll give you guys a quick teaser of one of the ones we're going to be opening up, which is the World Premiere Pack 2020. So this box did not come sealed, and I think that's just kind of standard for those. This is the OCG's version of Toon Chaos, but it also has a prismatic... Secret Rare, I can't remember exactly uh, what the rarity is called, but it's a Prismatic Secret Rare, a uh, Dunamis Dark Witch in there where you can pull, which would be awesome. And just overall some really cool tune cards. So I got that one coming in the near future. And then we've got Chronicle Pack, which is, uh, I believe, partially at least Duelist Saga. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. I think there's some other cards splashed in. This has a Millennium Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon in it, the original art. It looks awesome, and I would love to pull that one, too. So these are two of the boxes that we have coming up. There will be a lot more. If you guys did enjoy the video, I ask that you please hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help. You can turn the bell on if you want for notifications. Usually, we're going to try for every other day, but there may be some days where it's, you know, every two days or something, depending on it. Um, you know, on how it goes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time right here at Love Shack. Bye-bye.